Hello everyone, it's time for another story. Today we're going to talk about how the universe came to be. At the beginning of time, before there was anything else, there was Ginungagap, a dark and silent void, a great big emptiness from the age before there was sand or grass or waves in the sea. The first two things that appeared outside of Ginungagap were the two primordial worlds. To the far south, there was Muspelheim, the world of heat and fire. And to the far north, there was Niflheim, the world of ice and cold and fog. In the middle of Ginungagap, the fires of Muspelheim and the ice from Niflheim met and the fire melted the ice. From the melting ice, the drops of water appeared, and these drops of water formed the first being, called Ymir. Now, Ymir was a frost giant, the first of the Jotnar. From Ymir's sweat and from his legs <laughs> were born the first generations of giants, of the Jotnar. But Ymir was not the only being that was created by the melting ice. There was a cow called Audhumla. And the cow gave milk to Ymir, and Ymir grew larger and larger. But the cow was also thirsty, so she licked the ice from Niflheim. And on the first day, as she was licking the ice, hair appeared from the ice. And on the second day, a whole head appeared. And on the third day, the whole body appeared from the ice. That was Buri, the first of the Aesir tribe of gods. Now Buri married an unnamed female and they had a son called Bor. And Bor married one of the Emir's descendants called Bestla. And these two had three children, three brothers. And you should know at least one of them. Two of them were called Vili and Ve. And the third one was no other than Odin himself. Now the three brothers did something terrible, yes, but great. And what they did, I will tell you when I see you next time.